my research focuses on uh, evaluating the potential of medicinal plants that treat skin infections. And I do this through looking at how does the plant work? At what extent does this plant treat bacterial infections? And then I'll also look at the safety of this plant. Is it safe for the people to take it? And at what concentration is safe for the people to take it? And at what concentration is toxic for people to take it? But I also look at the components in the plant that actually treat the skin infections. And by doing this, I'm actually trying to help the community to ensure that whatever they are taking, first of all, is not harming them. But still, during drug formulation or during herbal formulation, this information is very, very important. In that, if you're formulating any drug, you have to know the components that are in that drug. You also have to know whether the, the plant is actually toxic or not. What inspired me to do this research is the desire to actually discover new things that can impact society. You know, when you get new knowledge that can transform the lives of people, knowledge that can change policies, it's very, very important. And that is my desire. The key findings in my research is that I actually found out that these plants have very, very good antibacterial activity. In other words, they can actually be used as antibiotics to treat skin infections. But I also found out that these plants can be used as sun sunscreens to screen out the bad UV that can actually harm the skin. I also found out that there are components in there that are very, very good to treat bacterial infections and can be used in formulation of drugs to treat uh, skin infections. These uh, findings are very important in that if you know how the plant works, if you know how toxic it is, if you know the components, then actually you can go ahead and formulate a herbal medicine that can be used for people's health but also for their livelihoods because many people are selling these herbal medicines. So it is very, very important that these results can be used in formulations of herbal medicines and drugs that can help uh, people's health. In Uganda, you, um, I have actually used these results to train so many communities on how to formulate herbal cosmetics. And I've, I've also used uh, these results to train uh, students. In other words, I have actually built capacity in the university as well as outside the university. This funding has actually made a great impact in my career. First of all, my research skills have improved. And also, um, I have built capacity. Because you know when you are a researcher, you have to make sure that if you are no longer there, there are people to do the research. So these funds have helped me to build capacity by supervising, by training PhD students and also, and also master students. But I've also trained the community, you know, because this is part of my career, to train the people outside there. So I have trained the communities and the communities have used the training or the skills that they have used to impact their lives, to make sure that they can formulate things that can, that can be able to, they, that they can sell out there. When you train postdoctoral students in Africa, you actually retain them. You are building 
a critical mass of research leaders that can actually remain in the country but, but can solve African problems.